Thank you, Jorge. So after the, all this, I would say, uh, scientific uh, violence, my presentation will have a bit of different nature. I will give you more a visionary approach on uh, the value of water and the role uh, of digitization and the circular economy in that. So as I said, my name is Dürer Kroll. I'm the executive director of WSSTP. Um, my presentation I have organized as follows. First, I will briefly introduce a bit uh, WSSTP. Then I will present to you our water vision. Uh, then I will go a bit into certain developments with regard to research and innovation, which are already ongoing at the European level, also integrating European research projects. And I will conclude with a few remarks about what WSTP is doing to, to bring this forward and also what the role of Axiona uh, is in this. So firstly, uh, as WSTP, we uh, consider ourselves as the recognized voice and promoter of water-related RTD and innovation in Europe. As such, we've been originally initiated by the European Commission in 2004 uh, as an industry-led European technology platform for water. Um, and our three main missions are to improve coordination and collaboration in the water sector and water-using sectors, because, of course, as you know, the water sector is not only about the water sector per se, but is also about uh, water being used in other industrial sectors, like, for example, the chemical sector, the textile sector, the steel sector, but also uh, agriculture. Then it's about enhancing the performance and competitiveness of the European water sector and water using sectors. And it's about contributing to solving the main policy challenges that the European Union has identified with regard to water, uh, for example, uh, adaptation to climate change and water scarcity. Now, we're a member-based organization with currently around 200 members organized uh, over five different membership colleges. Uh, first college is about multinational corporations with water at the heart of their business model. This uh, includes, of course, Axiona. Then uh, about 50% of our members come from research institutes and universities. Then we have utilities, both drinking water and wastewater. We have about 30% of our members coming from the technology supply chain, so the membrane manufacturers, pump manufacturers, and then we have the large, mostly industrial water users, where we have members like Dow Chemical, Coca-Cola, Shell, and for example, uh, Procter and Gamble. Uh, now, the core, uh, what is driving all our activities is of course our water vision, which, will I, which I will expose to you in a second. But in order to contribute to that, we have developed three main programs. One of them is the collaboration program, where we make representative from the whole water sector in all its diversity collaborate, uh, for example, to our, uh, through our 20 different working groups, the workshops that we organize, but also our annual event, Water Knowledge Europe, which is really aimed at facilitating our members to work in projects and to be very successful in the application of European research funding. Then we have our advocacy program, which is really aimed at uh, raising the awareness of water uh, in the European arena and also making sure that in our European policies we put in place the right drivers to stimulate water-related innovation. Lastly, we have our innovation program, and that is really aimed at helping our members to bring their to, to help their members to bring their new solutions and research uh, research results to the market. Now, as I already said, key to our activities is our water vision, and in 2016, we have updated our 10, year old, 10 years old water vision. Uh, firstly, because we saw that there were a, a number of new, very important societal developments, uh, amongst others, the development towards a circular economy, which is really driving, I would say, European policy at the moment. Uh, the emerging Internet of Things, of course, very important demographic changes, and the sustainable development goals, I would say, which will also become a major driver for business opportunities. Uh, then there are also new insights into technological capabilities, uh, mainly with regard to water treatment and digital solutions for water management. And also, I think very importantly, over the last 10 years, we've seen an increased awareness and urgency to deal with the impacts of human behavior on our environment and the effect of climate change events on our water system. Now, from our perspective, we really see that there is an, a need to emphasize 
the value, to recognize and emphasize the value of water for our society. Yeah? And then if you take into account that 90% of our global economy in 2013, and according to UNESCO, 75% of jobs globally depend on good access to the right quality of water. I think this is, this is, these are very important figures also in the current debate to make people aware how, water, how important water is. Now this, this importance of water I think becomes even more clear when we look at the upcoming challenges over the next decade which deal with water scarcity, uh, the pollution of a living environment, and of course the increasing cost for our society to deal with the ever more frequent and intense floods and droughts. Yeah, oh, I'm running a bit behind with my slide. Uh, now in order to deal with it, I think we have a number of options. First, um, we need to develop new solutions that can help us to reduce our impact on our environment. We really need to make use of the increased awareness and technological capabilities to find new solutions uh, that can help us. And we also, very importantly, we need to make sure that uh, our infrastructure um, remains financially viable to the future and that we make our in infrastructure, I would say, climate change proof. Now, as I already said, um, water is key to all our societal functions. And that goes from, I would say, industry, so the products that we daily use, to agriculture, the food that we daily need, to our daily lives at home, and the services that we enjoy, uh, including the function of nature for our well-being. Yeah? Now, if you then realize that we have to make sure that enough water remains available for all these different uses, while at the same time we have to reduce our impact on our fresh water resources, we see that we have a number of options. Yeah? Firstly, I think we need to drastically increase reuse and recycling of water. But we can do much more in that sense. We can also make use of alternative water resources, such as brackish, saline, brines, and rainwater, leading to a first innovation concept behind our WCP water vision, which is the multiple waters concept. Yeah. Then we have also the opportunity to better manage and govern our water system and a water allocation by using a second innovation concept, which we have called the digital water concept. Yeah. Uh, in line with the Internet of Things, we believe that the water sector can be expected to be digitalized to a much higher extent yeah, by deploying um, sensors throughout the network up to the level of the individual user, generating large amount of data about how, when, and what quality of water will become available for use by uh, utilities, water governing bodies, and individual users to optimize the allocation of, the, of multiple waters for multiple purposes and users. Yeah? Now then, the value in water can be further uh, optimized by exploiting the value in water, which are, for example, the nutrients, the minerals, the metals, but also the energy which is contained in wastewater. Now, these need to be captured, and of course, we will need to, to, de uh, to develop innovative innovations within the, the water market to be able to do so. Last but not least, um, we have an underpin, uh, the fourth innovation concept is an underpinning hybrid gray-green infrastructure which has to support all of this. Yeah? So with this, we have developed a four-layer model for what we call a future European water smart society, which indicates all the research, uh, technology development, and innovations that are needed to achieve the required impacts. Now, I said, key to our model is the value of water. Now, the value of water for us is all about um, new technolo te uh, technological and non-technological innovations to realize a water smart economy. It is also about uh, new technologies and new business and economic models to make possible the allocation of multiple waters for multiple purposes and uses. Yeah? And then it's about the, the development and implementation of multi-loop infrastructures to make the water sector uh, more, more, more flexible, more circular, and more digital. And last but not least, it is about um, new digital tools and incentive systems for users 
to increase the rational use of the available waters, yeah, to stimulate entrepreneurs to really capture uh, and exploit the value in water and to make our water system more circular. Now, in order to do this, of course, we need a whole range, we need research and development of a whole range of new technologies to uh, enable such a water smart society to develop new infrastructures and new digital decision support systems. In order to make the water system more circular, we also need to, to, integrate, high, to integrate green infrastructures and leverage on the green infrastructures for their capacity for filtering, storage, and delivery of alternative water services. And last but not least, we foresee an increased uh, involvement of all relevant stakeholders in uh, our water governance to make sure that all users will have access to enough water of the right quality, yeah? that resilience of our water system is properly managed, and that we have a, 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 wa a water system which is financially geared towards the future. Now we have also developed a number of key impact parameters to, to see how this will be implemented. Firstly, we foresee a reduction of the impact of our European water society on our natural water resources by about 50%. We'll do this through an increase in reuse from the current 5% up to 30%, a reduction of water loss from the cur current average uh, European uh, level of 20% to much lower levels, uh, we also foresee much higher levels of alternative water, uh, water sources, uh, up to 15% of the total water demand in the future, and a reduction of the amount of water used for energy production with 10 to 20%, yeah? which is currently about 25% of the overall water use. Now then, the second key impact parameter deals with uh, the recognition of the true value of water and boosting the European water market. Here, first of all, bold decisions will need to be taken about uh, large investments in the water sector, which, lead to, which will lead to great opportunities for the, the water technology supply chain. And, of course, a five to ten times increase in the valorization of water by extracting and exploiting heat, energy, nutrients, and minerals and chemicals from the wastewater. A third impact parameter deals with, uh, the secure, uh, with securing uh, the resilience, stability, and sustainability of a water system by reducing the impact and damage due to climate change events with about 50%, by um, protecting the quality of our uh, fresh water resources uh, by source protection and minimizing residual contamination, and by developing new economic investment and multi-stakeholder governance models that leverage and synergize new sources of finance and funding into new long-term economic models based on the cost recovery and the blue replace principle. I think this is also very important um, if you take into account that currently the Water Framework Directive, one of the major pieces of European water legislation is under, under review. Yeah. Um, oh, voila. Oh, voila. So with this, I think WSTP has developed um, a, a model for a European water smart society that foresees in a paradigm shift in the way our future water society will be organized and managed. It's about developing solutions that contribute to tackling global challenges and sustainable development goals. It will reconfirm and strengthen Europe's position in the global water market and ignite new markets for finite resources and growing jobs in a global circular economy. Now, as you probably all are very much aware of, the water sector is a very diverse and fragmented sector. Now, this fragmentation also persists on the European level where you will see that you will have one large European trade association which represents the chemical sector and has 170 employees, yeah? And you have about seven to eight different organizations at the European level with 
on average three to five employees representing the water sector. Now, what we're very happy is that we've been able to secure um, the support for, from all these other organizations for our water vision, including uh, the, the European Innovation Partnership, which is driven by the European Commission. And we have already seen that um, in their activities, they ha there has been taken place a real uptake of the WSTP Water Vision, but also from, uh, about, from our strategic innovation and research agenda, which uh, highlights the research and innovation that needs to take place to realize our water vision. Um, as said um, already currently, there is a lot of research ongoing about digitalization of the water sector. Uh, this is mainly driven by the fact that for the current European Commission, Commission creating a digital single market is a very uh, important objective. So in that context, the, you could say the European Ministry of ICT, uh, DG Connect called, uh, has, has taken the initiative to try to bring all these research efforts together in what they call the ICT for Water Cluster, in which WSTP is also uh, a major contributor. Yeah. And I'm going to show you now a little a video of about two and a half minutes, which explains a bit more what uh, the ICT for Cluster has been doing and what type of research uh, uh, the European Commission has funded over the last few years. Now, let's see if this works. Information and communication technologies, also known as ICT, have the potential to significantly improve the way we manage, distribute, use and reuse water on a large scale. ICT for Water is a cluster of all EU-funded research projects that apply ICT across water's entire life cycle and value chain. Our goal is to drive the European industry forward by promoting the transition of ICT technologies into the water sector. From pilot scale to wide market uptake, we aim to create a European borderless digital single market for water services. ICT for Water is part of an ecosystem that involves everyone. Researchers, water utilities, public authorities and active citizens working together to develop and test new ideas. So, what are we working on? Low-cost sensors for monitoring water use and quality in real time and on a large scale. Big data analytics to support effective and time-sensitive decision-making. Applications for consumers aiming to induce sustainable changes in consumption behavior. Complex control systems helping us to minimize energy use at all steps of the water life cycle. Novel means to identify water leaks and reduce water losses. Improved forecasting of water demand helping us anticipate it and plan accordingly. And that's just a small sample. With many projects already completed, ICT for Water will host a lot more by 2000. Our research output has already found its way in the real world. Maximizing water efficiency, reducing losses, raising awareness, ensuring water quality and reducing costs. We hope that our work will safeguard our sustainable future, alleviate water stress and ensure clean, accessible and affordable water for all Europeans. Learn more about all the projects we are working on and how you can contribute on our website. And keep in mind, each and every one of us is a water steward. Do your part. Help save water. Voila. Okay, so I think this was an inter interesting overview to see uh, what kind of research uh, has been ongoing already within the within the European arena. Now, the European Commission has used the output of all, of all these projects yeah, to um, create what they call an action plan for a digital single market for water services. Yeah. The objective here is to allow the European water sector to make use of the unique opportunities that digitization may offer, uh, for example, dealing with the support of free flow, free flow of non-personal data, the merger of physical and the virtual world, integration of various data sources, improvement of the quality and speed of decision-making and collective decision-making, 
cross the main link, uh, linkage, with, for example, energy, food, climate, uh, social areas and health, new products and services, and imp improvement in the trust and increasingness, increasing the awareness of the value of water. Yeah? So, um, in order to achieve this, of course, um, the water sector will need to implement a whole new range of measures to address a number of needs. Now, they have in the, um, the action plan for the digital single market for water services, they have categorized all these needs, as you can see here, in operational digital water, environment, resource efficiency, standards, security and uh, CI, social and governance and policy related topics. I will not go into listing all the issues which are mentioned be beneath here. If you're interested there, please go to the uh, ICT for Water website where you can fi find a full reflection of all the, the needs that have been identified. Uh, but I think it's very important to, to be aware that this is going on and I think uh, truly this can have a large impact on the future of the water sector and also the business models driving uh, the water sector. Now to conclude um, a little bit on what WSTP is doing um, to bring this all together. Um, we have reorganized our whole internal structure of WSTP into a matrix structure which corresponds very much with the vision in our strategic innovation and research agenda where we have defined six horizontal clusters very much in line with the innovation concepts and three vertical clusters uh, very much in line with key uses of the water sector. For each of these, uh, for each of these clusters we have appointed um, cluster leaders uh, and responsible board members now, in the case of uh, digital water, the responsible board member is here. <laughs> Jorge. And um, the cluster leader uh, is Gilles Fay from uh, Suez. And together, they, are, they will be responsible in the next two years to really bring this topic forward with the help of WSTP working groups, but other, also other European technology platform uh, forms, the EIP on water, so the European Innovation Partnership on Water. And of course, all of you are members and uh, the professionals working for our members. Yeah? So with this, um, I thank you for your attention. Um, at the entry, I, left, I took with me some copies in Spanish and English of our water vision. Not enough for all of you, but if you're interested and you didn't get a copy, please take a, uh, how do you call this? Scan this QR code and you automatically you will be guided through our water vision on the internet. Thank you very much.